That's not the hard part. The hard part is how to stop the keyboard thread. Is there a way to stop the keyboard thread? What's the keyboard thread even doing? I could... No. Um, having a reference to the thread won't actually help. Because I can't call stop on it. What I'd have to do... is um i'm going to be reading off of the queue from the keyboard thread which i don't know how to do because it's just a terminal i don't even have control over it all i do is um run this command so how can I stop this externally? Let me verify this is actually what's happening. So if I change this, it will rerun. However, the terminal will just be broken. Yeah. And the reason the terminal is broken is because that thread was never stopped. Wait, was it actually broken? If I, um, wait or something like that. Yeah, that just crashes immediately. What if I try to wait again? Nah, that doesn't work. Dang. I gotta say, I don't know if there's a good way to close the terminal externally from the terminal. Is that doable? One, like, janky thing? If I don't run the thread as a... No, if I do run the thread as a demon, then when the parent thread dies, the child thread will also die. However, right now the parent thread is the main thread. So I can't just kill it. But if I rendered on a separate thread, and then spawn the keyboard thread from that thread then i could kill that separate thread and that should kill the keyboard but that'd be insanity oh no i can use shell dot exeter i think that's all i just need a reference to the shell that i can call this however I don't have a reference to the shell. I think I could, though. If I import this from here. Wait. Import this from here. Create the shell here. Um. Then I guess I don't need that anymore. Now, if I take the shell, if I pass the shell and the namespace. If I pass the shell with the namespace. Then I start the keyboard thread. Then this... We'll load these modules into the namespace. It'll create its own rerun function. Write that into the namespace, then it'll start. But in this way, I still have a reference to the shell that I can pass to the main thread. I don't think this needs to be here. So I'm going to see if that isn't broken. By which I mean... 
I can still do this. Okay. And, um... I can still do this. Okay. And, um... S... Okay, S animate shift two three times left. S animate shift. Okay. So I can still rerun this. If I modify this file, this would still be broken. Well, it should still work, but the keyboard should be broken. Which it is. So I think now I can pass the shell to the renderer thread like so. Then, okay, then I can just stop it here. I think. The problem, the problem is that if the keyboard thread passed this rerun function onto the queue in the first place, then it would have already called shell.exeter, so I don't know if I can call shell.exeter again. But there is one way to find out. Actually, I should see if see if this works still and it does okay darn it's still broken what did it do Yeah, it looks like that's still broken. Maybe what I'd have to do... This might be where it's helpful to join. Because I'm doing the shell.exeter, but I'm not actually waiting for it to stop. So now if I pass the keyboard thread... Then here I can do the exeter, then I can do... Keyboard thread dot join. Now this, I hope, won't be broken. Although I also don't join when I exit from from the shell. I don't join, but I guess that makes sense since it's running the exeter command on its own. But anyway, let's try editing this file. It just didn't work. Oh, is it still waiting on the join? That's annoying. It has to be waiting on the join still. Oh my gosh. That's what I think is happening. So I can do it from here. Because the file thread will stop like a good, well-behaved thread. But if I edit the file... Yeah, the keyword thread won't stop. Well, that sucks. I need a different way to stop the keyboard. Although I have access to the shell thing, surely... Hmm. 
L.Exeter function. I guess this sort of makes sense. This isn't being executed in the shell's namespace. Right? This sort of makes sense. This isn't being executed in the shell's namespace. Right? This is being executed in the scene's namespace. Or like context or whatever. So that sort of makes sense. Like this isn't even being run in the same thread. I wonder if IPython has any documentation on this. Is this IPython? Mm. There's something about embedding. I guess you can watch things. Okay, so this can emit its own events, but that doesn't mean it can listen for events. <clears throat> and so when I embed here, blah, 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 blah. Now nah, it doesn't tell me how to do it. How to stop one. Call this to embed IPython at the current point in your program. I think I actually don't do that. I'm using interactive shell embed. And then... And then... Calling the shell. Interactive shell embed. So it's this. Subclasses of this must do blah 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 blah. Local namespace, module, stack depth, compile tags. Is it going to tell me how to destroy it? it? Actually, isn't telling me any of its methods. Hmm. How can I make IPAP an XF for the calling code? Dang. I feel like this is not something it was designed to do. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And just see what methods are available on the shell. So if I run this... Um, then I edit the file. So now, the, so now I think I'm in two shells. I'm in the iPad and shell, then I'm in PDB. Oh, and then it, darn, then it broke PDB. Which means I can't break there. Actually, this entire window's destroyed now. Darn. I don't even know how to stop it. Gosh darn it. Well, there goes my embedded terminal. Actually, can I just stop those them? Oh, I can't! That's unfortunate. I'm not even sure how I can close this now. No, I think control C might have done something. Okay, forget it. That thing's toast. Here's what I'll do instead. I'll use dir. And just print out 
everything the shell can do. Then I'll run this out here. What type of headbones are you hit? Young Macintosh. Interesting name. Um, these are Sony Thousand XM threes. Yeah, they have new ones now. These are Sony Thousand XM threes. Yeah, they have new ones now. They have the XM4s now. But it's these. But since those came out, they came out with new ones. So these are the new hotness. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, okay, so I got here. This is where I want to edit the file. Okay, and here it prints dir. Man, these windows are in the way. But this should tell me everything you can do on the shell. Do any of these look like it would cause it to exit? Exit now. Is ask exit? Confirm exit. They're hi-fi? Well, I'm not sure what that means. I guess they are. I believe you if you say they are. So exit doesn't work. I guess ask exit makes sense. Let me see if I can find some documentation on that. And it isn't here. It's the frequency. 40k, which is considered hi-fi. Cool. Oh, there's a force exit. Although, I'm not sure if you can call this on the shell. Probably not. Force exit. Terminal dot shortcuts. Okay, so I'm going to ask exit this. There's also exit now, so I can use that if that doesn't work. And I'm just going to ask it very nicely. Oh, I can never close this stupid window, that means. Because my embedded terminal is locked to this one, which crashed. Hold on, this is going to trigger. I'll get too triggered if I have to have this window everywhere. So I have to do something about it. Um, I'll just close the entire... Do I close the entire team session? I guess I have to. Dang. Although that didn't... wait. Oh my gosh, I can't close the TMUX session. Oh, I can. Great. So I go to a new one. Go to like here, I think. Is it still destroyed? Okay, it's better. Great. Their headphones and speakers which have a wide frequency range, but wouldn't be considered hi-fi by most audiophiles. The driver engineering matters a lot more. I'm not an audiophile, and I'm, I'm sort of glad I'm not. It seems like it gets pretty complicated when you look for like really high quality sound. I just sort of need the bare minute. I'm okay with like just some crappy earbuds. I just don't do it when I'm doing this because they'd fall out too easily. 
What was I doing? Okay. So here, I can rerun. What I want to do is find a way to exit... Oh my gosh. Okay. Find a way to exit the um, shell. So I'm going to do shell. Ask exit. So first of all, if I quit from the shell, or if I rerun from the shell, that worked in... So first of all, if I quit from the shell, or if I rerun from the shell, that worked immediately. It's not that complicated. Less distortion, but equals better reference. But many people enjoy sound signatures, as in boosted treble or bass. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll take your word for it. Technically, hi-fi means high frequency, which is what it means for hi-fi. Audio files opinions don't really matter in the sense of a technical definition. All right. I met someone before who was a was like big into music quality, and he actually um, he like only wanted to use Spotify Premium because Premium has a slightly slightly higher bit rate, and I guess he could hear the difference between the slightly higher bit rates. I never could though. So now if I try to edit this, it's still not stopping. Dang. Though it doesn't say... I should print waiting on the keyboard thread. What was the other one like exit now, I think? Actually, they were all on my screen just a second ago. Exit now. Ask exit didn't work, I guess. Right, exit now is my last hope. And to be honest, I um I don't have high hopes. It worked. Wait. No, it didn't. Darn. Exit now is a boolean, I guess. Not a method. And so, why is this frozen? Oh my goodness. My life right now. Exit now is a boolean. So I guess... I tried to edit the file. Yeah, just... It's set to false and it doesn't work. Dang. Music quality is amazing. Visual quality makes everything. You make a game, you should make the most impeccable hardware available. Graphics quality and all of this stuff. Then a kid whose parents buys small imposter gear and doesn't realize the threshold of what it took to make a figment of imagination into a sensible quality. Okay. I feel like... Especially the youngest generation of kids is really spoiled in the amount of technology they get, like, that they'll know for their entire lives. Although I know that's not the point you're making. What is imposter gear? Am I gonna... is this something really cringe? Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's pretty cringe. Is it all like Among Us? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 
Oh, not the right acceptable fear. Oh, acceptable gear. Got you. I thought it was something. Okay. Dang, well, I don't know a way to stop this shell. Like, ask exit doesn't work. Exit now is a boolean. There's... Wait, what's that? Exit or default? That probably won't help me. I feel like ask exit is the best bet, but that didn't work either. Exit or default? That probably won't help me. I feel like ask exit is the best bet, but that didn't work either. I wonder if there's any more documentation on ask exit. Instruct the front end to prompt the user for exit. Dang. Why are there so many front ends? Until it doesn't work, yeah. I mean, to be fair, this is not the way Python was designed to work. I'm like, so this code is reading the stack frame. It's getting the namespace from the stack frame, loading artificial methods into the namespace, then passing that namespace into a, another shell. Like, this is really crazy. And there's multi-threading? Python threads run on a single thread. Yeah, I've heard that before. Which I guess isn't so bad, considering JavaScript is also single-threaded. So I guess a single thread can do a lot of work if you use it well. And this is basically what I want, I think, a forced exit. Is there a way for an application to signal to IPython that it should exit? This is what I want. Installing a signal handler to force IPython to exit. This issue is open, so I guess there isn't. Ask exit is the official way. Jace will exit on sig term. That would make sense. JS has workers. True. A trick that worked in IPython 4 no longer works. I guess this is the situation I'm in, although I don't know what prompt toolkit is. <laughs> Ask exit sets a flag, which we only check in our act interaction loop. Not while PT is running the event loop for the prompt. However, I'm a bit confused why you want to exit programmatically. Robot project, thanks so much. Dude. I feel like this is the canonical response from developers when a customer asks for something. Why do you want to do that? This is like always what they say. It's like, what do you mean? I just want to do it. Maybe we should be installing a signal handler for sig term. Um... How would that interact with what you're trying to do is exactly what I'm trying to do. Get IPython. Ask exit. This.ptcli.exit. Interesting. ptcli. Is that something? Ah, uh, it doesn't even have that anymore. So if I were to... Um... 
going to try to print ptcli. I think this will just it'll just say that ptcli isn't a thing. Yeah, it does. Learning Linux. Once you've learned enough to begin your adventures in Linux programming, soon you realize that you learned only enough to tell you don't know enough. True. A, f a big part about learning Linux is that as you learn it, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to shoot yourself in the foot because there's, there's like no trash can.